Hi everyone, my name is Lillian and today I will be reviewing these Allura Tech Smart Digital Photo Frames for Best Buy Canada's blog. These frames come in three different sizes, 10.1 inches, 13.5 inches, and 15 inches. In this video, I'll be sharing my experience decorating my kitchen, my office, and my bedroom with these photo frames. I'll also be talking about how I use the Allura Tech app to easily transfer photos from my phone onto these frames and create different slideshows. If you're curious to learn more about this product, they are available at Best Buy. Feel free to click on the link in the video description below. So here I have the frames in the size 10.1 inches unboxed and inside the box you will find a power adapter. You'll also find a USB cable as well as a kickstand if you're looking to prop up the frame on a desk or a bedside table. Then you'll find two manuals. One is far longer and more in depth while the other is a quick and easy setup guide. Now as for the frames themselves, once you unwrap it, you'll see that they look like a traditional photo frame. And by that I mean they've got this black matte border around with crips edges and also the white enclosing that you find in a lot of conventional photo frames. So at first glance, I really like the look of this product because it doesn't look like a screen. Then if you turn it over on the back, you will see that it has two areas where you could potentially mount the frame onto the wall. And then this is where the kickstand would go. Once you plug the frame into a power source, it will automatically ask you to connect to Wi-Fi. I have already done that here. And after you connect it to Wi-Fi, this is the screen you will see. The frame ID is at the top, and then you have some instructions for how to link your frame onto your phone. Now, in order to do that, you wanna make sure you download the Allura Tech Smart Frame app from the App Store. And once you do that, you can open the app and you'll see that it's got quite an intuitive interface. And now to connect your device, click on the bottom here, devices. So on my app, I have already connected two other frames, the medium frame and also the small frame. Now I wanna do this larger 15 inch frame. So to do that, I click at the top here at the plus sign. Now it's gonna ask you for your device name. This is a name that you give your device. So to keep things simple, I like to name my frames according to their size. And if I have more than one of the same size, I would name them according to the room that I'm placing them in. The device email is an interesting one. So here you need to create a unique email address for your frame. And this email can be used to send photos from your phone or from your computer um, to the device. Now the frame ID is what you see at the top of your frame. And once you've got that info, you click on bind, it'll ask you to confirm again, then you're good to go with sending photos directly from your smartphone onto the frames themselves. So once you have the app link with your frame, you'll see this homepage. And I've also set up the location, which then gives me the weather. And then at the bottom of the homepage, you'll notice that there is an alarm feature and a clock feature, as well as a video and a music feature. Now let's get to the fun part, which is creating slideshows out of the photos from your phone. So in order to do that, you want to open up the app and give it permission to access your camera roll. Then go to media and then click on photo. So I've already uploaded some photos from my phone to the app. Now I just wanna show you at the bottom here, you'll see all your connected devices. So I'm playing around with three frames, the small one, the medium and the large one. And I wanna make sure that I'm sending the photos to the right frame, which in this case would be the large frame. So I have that checked at the bottom. Now I click on this plus sign, which will give me access to the photos I've uploaded onto the app. And I'm just going to pick a couple to send to the frame. Here we go. Um, then after that, I click on done. Then at the top here, I click on send. And the app's interface gives you a pretty good idea of how the process is going. And there'll be a sound that comes on when the transmission has been successful. There we go. And then now you will see the photos. 
So just a note that um, the photos are from my phone. So when they originally display, you, you could see that they were taken with a the phone. There was, there was a large border around it. Now to get it to expand into this full size view, all I had to do was go into settings uh, and then go into album settings and then click on full size. Now, I, since we're here, I can also show you some of the other personalization functions you can use. So one thing that I really like was the transitional effect. So right now I have it set to flip, but you can also do an accordion transitional effect, or if you scroll up, you can do a rotating transitional effect, or you can even ram have it randomize. You can also choose your slideshow interval. So five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, uh, all the way to five minutes. Now, another way to play around with the slideshow is you can directly access your phone's camera. So if I click at the top here, photos, it'll give me, uh, it'll open up my phone's camera where I could then snap photos and just send it directly to the frame. And you can do the same thing with the video function up here if you're wanting to take a video and then immediately display it onto your frame. So here I'm displaying the 13.5 inch frame and the 15 inch frame on the cabinet beside my desk. And the first thing I notice, which I love, is the screens themselves are not very bright. It's different from the screen of a smartphone or even a tablet where the light can sometimes be glaring. But here you'll see that it's quite easy on the eyes, but you still get the same vivid colors that you would expect from your photo frame. I also really like how you can flip around the frame. Uh, so I can make this one horizontal and we'll notice that the frame will automatically shift the display of the photo. So that's a nice little touch. So overall, I am quite fond of these photo frames. I mean, I really like them. I'll be honest, at the beginning, I was skeptical. I didn't want to feel like I was just adding more and more screens to an already tiny apartment. But because these Allura Tech digital frames are designed to resemble traditional frames, when I placed them on my kitchen counter or on my desk or even next to my bed, it gave the space that intimate and cozy feeling that I'm looking for. As for the screens themselves, they are quite easy on the eyes, so even when I had one next to my bed, it didn't disrupt my sleep. Now, I also really appreciate how the Allura Tech app made it very easy to manage my frames. I mean, the process of sending photos from my camera roll directly to the frame was intuitive, and it was very quick and simple. Now, if you're curious to learn more about this product, they are available at Best Buy. Feel free to click on the link in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Bye for now.